Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carl of Creativity. Today I'm going to be showing you a DIY technique for mercurising things um, and if you don't know what this is um, it's just sort of a mock-up way to create some of those pieces that you've been seeing flying around the shops a lot recently where it's like a colour but there's like little whole sort of bits peeking through that aren't in the colour. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture or something of what I've done and insert it. Um, but anyway, without further ado, let's just hop right into the DIY. So all you really need for this DIY is some water and vinegar and you just want to mix one part water to one part white distilled malt vinegar. Um, you don't need a lot of this, you literally just need enough for a few sprays per item and you can use whatever item, like glass item that you want. Here you can just see me um, preliminary just cleaning each glass item with some just regular glass cleaner and this is just to remo remove any of the like dirt or grease or impurities from the glass before spraying so it will have a nice finish. I am using this panel of glass as well as these jars just and the panels just to more create a tray sort of effect. Um, you can tape off any parts of the glass that you don't want to get spray paint on. So I'm taping off the sides of my just glass sheet and you could also tape off the top like neck part of your jars to wrap some twine on around later but it's completely up to you. So now that I've taped up my piece of glass, I'm just going to spray it with the vinegar mixture before spray painting over the top of it. Um, you want to thoroughly spray paint this and then just leave it to dry for about 10 minutes longer than it says on the packaging. And then grabbing a kitchen towel, just damp, dab off the like bubbles in a way. And this will remove the paint as well as the vinegar mixture, exposing the clear glass underneath, creating that mercurized sort of look. Then I just did the same thing to the glass jars. I sprayed in the inside of them before um, spray painting them. I also taped and put some kitchen towel around the edges of these just because I didn't want any spray paint on the outside because I wanted the glass to have the nice shine like it was spray painted from the inside and that was how I achieved that. It would be a lot easier and the effect would be I guess more because um, it wouldn't be so hard to dab off the bits from the inside if you painted on the outside but you would lose the glossiness of the jars so that's why I opted to go for the inside. I think spraying on the outside would just be lovely looking as well I just this is what I preferred to do and it was a bit fiddly getting inside the jar to spray paint it and also to um, dab off the little water bobbles. So again, like last time, once it was dry, I took a piece of kitchen towel and just dabbed away the inside. And you really don't want to be quite gentle with this, you don't want to remove too much of the paint. And that's really it. Just keep spraying and dabbing to your desired effect and there we are. Thanks for watching this video guys. I really hope that you enjoyed learning about how to do this um, and I really hope you have fun trying it yourself. As always make sure to hit that subscribe button if you did like my video so that you're notified of new videos when they come out and I will see you guys next time. Bye!